the Nexio and Switch integration. We have basically developed two modules in Enfocus Switch called Nexio Collect and Nexio Submit. The idea is to simply do exactly as Nexio is doing, being able to simply submit job tickets and or to retrieve the job tickets from Nexio within Switch and use the reported information for further on elements down the flow. So for the demo, I will actually use a Switch Client configured workflow that will submit the job ticket with some predefined information and some variable to Nexio. So if I open my Switch Client and choose a file to submit, I'll take Flameboy. I've defined here some information that I can fill in, which will be actually populate the JDF created by the tool within Switch and submit it to Caldera Jet Normal here, order number 1234. I'm submitting in via Switch Client, which will go into my Switch workflow and come in the RIP. My Nexio configuration is still the same based on the further demos, so the job is automatically printed and sent. I will obviously find my information here about the submitted information and the information I imported into Switch. And as you saw here, InDesign popped up for a little while on my screen. That's my second workflow, which actually is using the feedback information of Nexio. So it collects out of the JDF output folder of Nexio, captures the JDF, transforms it, pushes it into InDesign, and creates a printing report. If I open the file, you will see it's a simple job sheet with the information, number of copies printed, order number, width and height, ink, total ink consumption, beginning and end date, Voila, just a simple example of the use of information that can be done. Now, going back to the configurators themselves. So Nexio Submit is quite simple. I mean, you have a hub folder that is the one that is configured within Nexio on your RIP. And some of the metadata, quite the same than in the toolkit, that actually can be filled in, of course, thanks to a focus switch with meta information, the job number, job description, number of copy, device to send it to, customer name and order number, a job comment, a gang name to be able to group jobs together, and a delay of response in case Nexio wouldn't be active on the RIP. As you saw before in the report, that's much simpler. You've actually the hot folder to gather the jobs from, Exclude running actually simply filters the job that are actually being ripped, else the XML information is already available. So it will only spit out finished or failed jobs. And the refresh time in seconds, which forces the configurator to pull this information and feed the provided JDF back down the line. 